Oh, God, I, I so scored tonight. Let me explain what happened. Okay. Uh, my aunt, who moved out to Colorado last year, just came back to, back here for um, business. So, me, my aunt, my grandfather all went out to eat. Well, on the way there, going on a road I never frequently travel, I looked over and I saw a middle-bladed box fan in the trash. But, I noticed this top piece here from the side going down the road. I'm like, damn, that's a Lakewood. Okay, so I'm like, I couldn't stop then. I mean, it's on a main road, it's real busy. So, oh man, I get that all of a sudden, this huge adrenaline rush. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get this fit. So I'm trying to, okay, you know what it is? I ain't never seen my place yet other than the YouTube video, so. They followed me out here in my house, so on the way back, I get to pass it again. It's like a 20 minute drive with the horses. Okay. I see it again. Now, after they leave here, it's like 9.30. I was going to wait till a little bit later for traffic to die down, but I was like, you know, if I wait too long. So, I, I drove down the road about 5-10 minutes away. It was still there. And I didn't... Now, the first time I drove past, it was on the opposite side of the road, so I was going to turn around and go back and hurry, pull over and pop the trunk and throw it in. Uh, there wasn't really enough room on the road. And, and uh, there was cars coming behind me, so I, think, I noticed there was a road if you turn left on. So after I made another U-turn, I went up, turned down that neighborhood road, turned around, and I parked on the street right near the stop sign. I, I ran out across the street, grabbed the fan in a hurry, because I didn't want, and I, I, I'm waiting, and the traffic's coming out. I had to wait like almost like two minutes before I could cross the road again. Come back, throw it in the car. I noticed what it was up top here, and I'm again freak out about that. When I get home, there's like very little rust on it, the grills obviously aren't original. If you notice in the corners here, there's little metal clips. Uh, so the original grill is definitely missing, and whoever added drill drill holes into it. Okay, so the grills are not original on this, but the blades, everything else is. And the blades are original. As for the age, it's definitely an older Lakewood that has a general electric motor in it. But everything else is still liquid. Now here's another mystery. There's no model number or anything on it. All it says up at the top is Deluxe. I haven't cleaned it up yet, and it's going to need some work. Uh, it does work, naturally. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing. I never had liquid with a shroud on it. Oh, man. Part two. I, mean, I have a, one liquid with a thermostat, but it's my first liquid with... Um, a pilot lamp on the front. Then you have that. Now here's the thing. Whoever had it must have rewired it because out is in and in is out. So that's screwed up. So that's probably an, that's definitely an easy fix. Now we'll go around to the back here. Okay, here's the side view. Same as oh here's another thing. I've never seen a Lakewood where the cord came out on the bottom like that. That's different. I mean even the Grants Bradford if the GE motor doesn't do that. I mean, this fan's a total mystery here. Then you come to the back here. Lift it up. There's the GE motor. And the blades were are fine, but the one was bent enough to... It, the fan didn't shake, but man, it sounded screwed up. I was able to bend it back mostly in the place. So I, still, I still haven't taken it apart yet. Um, now, I want to turn it on. Yeah, it turns, but boy, did it squill. Oh my god, this thing was dry. I had to put at least like 10 to 15 drops of oil in this thing to get it to loosen up. I mean, it spun freely originally, it just it was so dry. It, it probably never oiled at one time in the past 40, 45 years. And who knows what it was used for. And it is loosening up, but it still has a little bit of noise to it. I'll give a quick demo of it. It's pressed on out, but it's going to be coming in this way because it's, it's wired wrong. I don't know what they were thinking, but okay, put it on high. Whoa! It sat for like 15 minutes and now it's like dead quiet. The oil must have had time to 
Video. I was expecting it to make noise, but it was. It totally loosened up now. Damn, it need good oil in here. But here's the thing even though it's probably had like 45 years with no oil, you no know, one adding additional oil to it, I mean, and it had to come back just like that, like nothing happened. That shows you quality right there. I mean, today's box fans, I mean, <laughs> They're lucky if they last a year at times, and then either the motor opens up, burns up, whatever, or, you know, the bearings seize because you can't oil them, and they're, they don't put enough oil in them, period. Damn, that spun down real nice and quiet. I mean, wow, this thing really... Now we'll just press in, which is really out, and turn it on high. Actually, you know what? Uh, how should I do this? I'll get close to the motor, hopefully to pick up more noise. The other noise, as you hear, is my furnace air conditioner running and my um, dehumidifier. So here we go on high. Restoration. This, this is beautiful. Lakewood is my favorite brand of box fans, and this thing is just beautiful. Oh my, I have never had a lake, seen a lake. This is my first time seeing a Lakewood in person with a shroud, and then this, this thing up here. Yes. Now we'll do a demo of, okay, we'll just like do out, turn it on high. Then that comes on. And every number on here actually represents times 10. It's like uh, 40 degree, 50 degree. It actually shut off around like 75 degrees, which is about right what it is down here. So even the thermostat's working perfect. You know, I mean, and all was wrong with it, it needed oil very, very badly. Oh my god, when I turned this thing on, I, it started spinning up the speed, no problem. I'm like, oh, no problem. Squeal! I'm mean, like, I don't want it to hold my ears. Damn, it was that loud. It hurt her ears, too. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to do that. Okay, one more time. Yep, 75. Oh, this thing is nice and quiet. Oh, this, this is just beautiful. Again, this, I got a, the grills aren't original. And that's what worries me. Will I be able to find the original grills? No. Because they're not the typical Lakewood grills. These are, these, it looks like the front one was snap-on and the rear one was screw-on. Because the front one obviously had drill holes in it. 